Here's how I made my ATU100 tuner better. I bought my ATU100 as a kit off of eBay about four years ago and have been pleased with its performance. But there were a few things I didn't like about it, so I decided to fix it. The first issue was I didn't have a nice case for it. You could use a 3D printed case, but I chose a metal case since we're dealing with RF. I needed a case that would have enough room for the board, but could also fit the larger OLED screen. I found this one on AliExpress. Next issue I had was the SMA connectors. So I desoldered them from the board and used these SO239 connectors instead. I used solid copper wire to connect them to the board, as well as run a ground from the connector to the board. Even though it's in a metal case, this is a better connection than relying on painted screws to make a good connection. I also added a plug for 12 volt power. Moving to the front. My kit came with a cheap button that I never liked, so I upgraded it to this nice aluminum one. The single button handles tune and reset and is sufficient for my needs. Lastly was the OLED screen. I found this I2C 2.4 inch OLED display by High Let Go. They had a couple colors to choose from, but I thought the white looked good. Just make sure it's I2C and not the SPI or it will not work. This display just plugs in in place of the old one. I used a Dremel tool to cut out for the screen. It's a little rough around the edges, but I plan to make a plastic bezel for it to clean it up. Now it will fit nicely among my other gear and be a pleasure to use. Do you have an ATU100 tuner? What would you do to make it better? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.